Hello and welcome back to the Tech Black Book. Today is our part 8 and this is the last part in our AI 900 real exam question and answer series. And as always, if this video helps you in your Azure learning, then please do not forget to like the video. Also, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel as more and more Azure exam series are coming up after this series. And make sure to press that bell icon so that you get notifications of all our upcoming videos. And in case you are new today here on the tech blackboard or you have missed watching any of the previous parts, it's worth mentioning that we have already covered 100 questions in 7 previous parts on AI 900. The link for all the parts are available in the description box. And what's more, you can get the PDF versions of all the questions with answers of all the questions that we have covered so far. And for that, you have to answer few simple questions asked in the respective part. Additionally, you can get the PDF version of today's part 8 with all the questions and answer if you tell me the correct answer for question number 101, question number 110 and question number 115. And as always, you will find the answers to all these questions in this video itself. So please watch the video very carefully. There are a lot of exam tips and concepts around artificial intelligence and machine learning are explained in this video. So let's get started. So let's begin our part 8 with question number 101. The question says data values that influence the prediction of a model are called your options are dependent variables, features, identifiers or labels. The correct answer for this question is option B features. If you want to understand in detail what are features and what are labels then you can go ahead and watch question number 51 of part 5. In that question, I have explained in a very detailed manner how to distinguish between features and labels. So please go ahead and watch question number 51 of part 5 as that will help you in these kind of questions where you need to distinguish between features and labels. Moving ahead with question number 102, let's read the question. You plan to deploy an Azure machine learning model as a service that will be used by client application. Which three processes should you perform in sequence before you deploy the model? Now to answer this question, you need to move the appropriate processes from the list of the processes to the answer area and arrange them in correct order. So friends, this is a very important question. Not only you have to identify the three processes, but you have to arrange them in a correct order. So here on the left hand side, you are given with the processes and we have data encryption, we have model retraining, we have model training, then we have model preparations and model evaluation. So you have to tell which process will come first, then second and then third. So let's check out the first process that you need to perform before deploying any model. So the first process is data preparation. So of course you have to prepare the data to train your model. And once you have prepared the data, the second step would be model training. So you prepare the data, you train your model against that data. And then as the last step, you have to do model evaluation. So very logical sequence of three steps. You prepare the data, you train your model against the data, and then you evaluate your model. Moving ahead with question number 103, the question says that you are building an AI based app. You need to ensure that the app uses the principles for responsible AI. Which two principles should you follow? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Your options are implement an agile software development methodology, implement a process of AI model validation as a part of software review process. The third option is establish a risk governance committee that includes member of legal team, members of risk management team and privacy officer. The fourth option is prevent the disclosure of use of AI based algorithms for automated decision making. And the correct answer for this question is option B and option C. And the reason is that the option B implement a process of AI model validation. This will ensure reliability and safety. And then the option C, which is establishing a risk governance committee. This option will secure privacy and security principle for responsible AI. Moving ahead with question number 104. The question is a yes, no kind of question. Let's read the question. JSON data objects is used to indicate the recording pattern of the data. The correct answer for this question is Yes. Quickly jumping to question number 105. XML data format is accepted by Azure Cognitive Search when you are pushing the data to the index. 
the correct answer to this question is no and now we have question number 106 it says that you can query a search index even if you set up a search index without including any ai skill sets the correct answer for this question is yes and now we have question number 107 the question says that which type of machine learning should you use to predict the number of gift cards that will be sold in next month your options are classification regression or clustering the correct answer for this question is obviously regression now once again let's revise when to use regression and when to use classification so here is a quick exam tip so whenever you have to predict anything which is numeric in nature for example here we have to predict number of gift cards that will be sold in next month so this obviously is a numeric prediction so you could be selling 100 cards 500 cards or thousands of cards so everything in this prediction is a number and that's why whenever it's a number or numeric you have to go for regression in case of classification though you have to select classification whenever you have to make a prediction around some category so please go ahead and watch the previous parts you will find a lot of examples and that will really clear out when to choose regression and when to choose classification and now we have question number 108 the question says fairness is a microsoft principles of responsible ai which says that the ai system should not reflect biases from the data sets that are used to train the system the correct answer for this question is yes and now we have question number 109 and it says specifying granularity in json data object is used to indicate recording pattern of the data the correct answer for this question is yes now let's jump on to the question number 110 the question says that what is the correct explanation of an indexer and index your options are given below the first option is azure's indexer exports incoming document into json and pushes the json into an index for storage the second option is azure's index can be used instead of an index if the files are already in the proper format the third option is Azure's indexer is only used to implement a knowledge store which is stored in the index. Now let's look at the correct answer which is option A. And here comes little more details on this option. So the documents in Azure blob storage are exported to JSON before getting stored in the search index. Azure indexer is a tool that automates the document export process. I hope that will help you understand what is Azure indexer. Moving ahead with question number 111 and it says that you have a data set that contains information about taxi journeys that occurred during a given period. You need to train a model to prepare the fare of a taxi journey. What should you use as a feature? Your options are the number of taxi journeys in the data set or the trip distance of the individual taxi journey or should you go for the fare of individual taxi journeys or the trip ID of an individual taxi journey? And the correct answer for this question is option B, the trip distance of an individual taxi journey. And the reason is very simple. You have to predict the fare of a taxi journey. And the fare is always relative to the distance between point A and point B. It has nothing to do with the trip ID of the individual taxi journey or the number of taxis journey in the data sets. The option C is also not valid because we are anyways calculating the fare of individual taxi journeys and that's why the prediction itself cannot be the answer. Moving ahead with question number 112. The question says that the model evaluation module outputs a confusion matrix showing the number of true positives, false negatives, false positives and true negatives. You have to tell whether it's a yes or it's a no. The correct answer for this question is yes. And friends, confusion matrix is one of the very important concept in AI 900 examination. And trust me, you will surely encounter some questions on confusion matrix in AI 900 examination. And that's why you must understand confusion matrix in detail. And I have explained confusion matrix in great detail in question number 15 of part 2. Moving ahead with question number 113. The question says that feature selection helps in splitting a date into a month, day and a year field. The correct answer for this question is no. Now let's jump to the question number 114. The question says that feature selection helps in picking temperature and pressure to train a weather model. And the correct answer to this question is yes.
And this brings us to the question number 115. And this is the last question of our entire series on AI 900 real exam question and answers. So let's read the question. When developing an AI system for self-driving cars, which of the following Microsoft principle for responsible AI should be applied to ensure consistent operation of the system during unexpected circumstances? Your options are inclusiveness, fairness, validity, reliability, and safety. The correct answer for this question is option D, reliability and safety. So those were the 115 questions that covered the length and breadth of AI 900 certification exam. And before you close this video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel as lot of Microsoft exam series are coming up very soon on the Tech Blackboard. Till we meet again in our next video, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching. If this video has added any value in your learning, a like and subscribe is highly appreciated. Share this video in your family and friends to spread and expand their learning. Your comments and feedback give me a chance to interact with you and I look forward for them. We will meet again in our next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.